Hello everyone, I'm Yasmin Šutković. Here we are at the Research and Development Center at the International University of Sarajevo. Besides many engineering laboratories, this center inc incorporates in major genetics and bioengineering laboratories. Here we are at the Molecular Biology Laboratory, where we study living things at the molecular level, analyzing DNA, RNA and proteins. Uh, I am Mohamed Raghav Abdelgawad. I am a professor at International University of Sarajevo Genetics and Bioengineering Program. Uh, I graduated from uh, University of Perpignan in France uh, 2008. I got my PhD in plant development. Actually, I'm working on uh, bioinformatics uh, project uh, with my colleagues and my students at International University of Sarajevo uh, since 2009. Uh, Besides, I uh, also work on uh, 3D structure prediction of proteins and also predicting the 3D structure of uh, DNA repair proteins uh, in plants. Those proteins are very important for correcting the mutation uh, in the plant cells, which uh, is a very important process and extensive mechanisms in plants. Uh, I'm teaching bioinformatics, uh, uh, plant uh, pathogenesis, and also uh, plant structure and physiology. Uh, this in um, undergraduate, in postgraduate, I'm teaching uh, advanced protein engineering, uh, bioimaging, uh, and also uh, advanced plant physiology. Hello, everybody. My name is Ahmet Yildirim, Professor Dr. Ahmet Yildirim. I am uh, working in genetics and bioengineering department. I am a molecular geneticist and biotechnologist as an expertise. I have been working on identifying new resistance genes, molecular mapping those genes, and transferring the genes with marker assisted selection techniques to the uh, commercial cultivars. Especially I focus on fungal diseases of wheat and finding new genes in the wild relatives of wheat. Uh, since I came to Bosnia, actually I have working on uh, abiotic stress uh, tolerance uh, genes, and we are uh, working with our students on the brassica species especially. What we are doing, we are uh, trying to find novel genes and identify those genes. And we also focus on uh, cytogenetics studies, so work on the uh, chromosomes as well. And uh, in addition to all of these, I work on quality genes uh, to define the better quality providing uh, alleles for especially uh, pasta quality in durum wheat. Uh, all together with our students, uh, in a friendly environment, in a very good uh, lab facilities. I think uh, we are running very nice uh, projects and we would like to have new students, new dedicated students to contribute more to our uh, university and to the community in Bosnia and Herzegovina. My name is uh, Altiana Hromic-Jahipendic. I am the assistant professor at the Genetics and Bioengineering Department and also the program coordinator of the same department. Um, I would like to tell you more about the curriculum of our undergraduate GBE studies. So um, our curriculum is constructed in the way that the first two years are more interdisciplinary manner, which means that the GBE students, besides uh, basic courses that they need to take from their own department, like biology, chemistry, biochemistry, and so on, uh, they also have the opportunity to take other engineering courses uh, like from the software engineering, computational sciences, industrial engineering and so on. And uh, this gives them uh, a possibility uh, later on to develop their own master thesis, uh, to go to the industry or to uh, continue with their academic career. Uh, the third and the fourth year are uh, more focused on um, let's say genetic engineering and protein engineering and it allows the students to have uh, or to take variety of uh, program elective courses 
uh, and uh, according to the program elective courses, they can also choose their own path, so uh, in which direction they would like to go with, uh, with the master studies and later on with the, uh, with the PhDs. Um, what I would really like to emphasize and what makes uh, this, uh, let's say, uh, curriculum very unique at IOS is uh, first of all this interdisciplinary manner so that the GB students are taking also uh, other engineering courses as well but our students must complete uh, a 30 days internship in an external laboratory or uh, somewhere in the industry and on that way they can also uh, make some contacts which can help them of course in the development of their scientific career. If you want to have the opportunity to work at various different laboratories during your study, IOS is the right place for you. Our students, starting immediately from the first year, have the opportunity to work in different laboratories, including general biochemistry lab, microbiology lab, bioengineering lab, cell and tissue engineering lab, and molecular biology lab. If you want to have a true bioengineering experience during your studies, then you are, we are more than happy to welcome you at IOS because our students have the opportunity to work with students from different programs, including electrical engineering, computer science, and mechanical engineering on various different interdisciplinary projects. Finally, if you want to have a chance to study abroad, don't worry, IOS has covered you as well. Uh, we are proud that a lot of our students go on a various exchange programs, including Erasmus Exchange and Mevlana Exchange programs to different countries around the Europe, including, for example, Italy and Poland. Moreover, a lot of our students continue their postgraduate studies, including masters and PhD abroad. But not only that, those who stay here still have the opportunity to work on different interdisciplinary projects in collaboration with other institutions and go abroad for a part of their research, both for research and different scientific missions. If you want to have the opportunity to work in various different laboratories during your study, then IUS is the right place for you. Our students, starting immediately from the first year, have the opportunity to work in different labs, including general biochemistry lab, molecular biology lab, microbiology lab, bioengineering lab, and cell and tissue engineering lab. Did you know you're more bacteria than human? That's right. The bacterial community in your body outnumbers your human cells. Hi. My name is Mariam Golzardi and I'm a PhD student here at International University of Sarajevo. And I work with these lovely little creatures called bacteria. You might be wondering why did I call them lovely? Aren't they causing infections and several health complications? You're right, but that's only one group of bacteria called pathogens. What you're forgetting is your good bacteria, or they're called also known as microbiome. I'm sure you heard about probiotics. Probiotics are the beneficial bacteria and majority of them live in your gut. They can give you many benefits such as stimulating your immune system and they can have an effect on the medicine you take and even nutrition uptake. And they also can have an effect on your behavior. In the last 10 years, the research on microbiome has significantly increased and here at IUS, we keep updated with the latest papers. Here in this lab, my colleagues and I work with probiotics on their isolation, identification, and studying their health benefits in different areas. If you're interested, trust your gut feelings and join us. A global university in the middle of Europe. Faculty of Law, Faculty of Engineering and Natural Sciences, the Faculty of Art and Social Sciences, Faculty of Business and Administration, Faculty of Education, Diploma Equivalency in all faculties and graduate, postgraduate, and doctorate programs, a double degree opportunity with Istanbul Technical University and Istanbul University. Comfortable, serene, and safe girls and boys dorm rooms inside the campus. The people of IUS know very well what education, life, experience, knowledge and culture is. IUS, International University of Sarajevo.